everyone, and thanks for joining us for Community Connection on Location. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and I'm standing here on one of the most scenic spots on the peninsula. I'm on the McBride Trail in Rancho Palos Verdes, where today the community was invited to come together and join city officials from RPV, along with the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy, for a dedication ceremony and anniversary nature hike here on the trail. We're going to begin by joining in the ceremony. Uh, good morning and welcome to our dedication ceremony of Upper Filiorum into the Palos Verdes Nature Preserve. When I was president, one of the things that we accomplished that I was most proud of was our ability to purchase this land. As you know, it happened at the end of last year. The community came together in which we raised over a million dollars for the acquisition of the land and also for the restoration of the burnt out area and the incorporation of this property into the preserve. The community really came together in a very difficult economic time to make this happen. And I'm very pleased that we were able to do this. It was partnership, especially with the city and the agencies and the community and we couldn't have done it without all of the components. And at this time, I would like to introduce the Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Rancho Palos Verdes, Tom Long. I'm, I'm standing in for uh, Steve Wolowitz, the Mayor. I'm, I'm sure uh, if he could be here, he would have some uh, remarks as well. Uh, today's dedication is only going to be a small point in the history of the Palos Verdes Nature Preserve that will extend for decades or even centuries. As California and Los Angeles grow, our descendants will look on two square miles. I always like to point it out, it's not just acres anymore, it's now square miles, that's how much it is. We need to thank the Coastal Conservancy. We need to thank the staff, uh, we need to thank Joel Rojas, Carolyn Lair, Barbara Dye. We need to thank people who spent thousands upon thousands of hours going through all the wickets that were necessary to go through to get the state grants to get the job done. Finally, let me introduce and let me also thank Bill Ayler. Somebody way back at the beginning had to have a vision. The vision at the time I'm sure to some seemed ludicrous. The vision was that land in this very expensive area along the coast, instead of being developed, was going to be preserved as open space. Some of the land was pretty far along in the development process. The lots were there, the streets were there, but someone had a vision that the land would instead be preserved. It takes special idea to have a skill that seems far out of reach and then to follow it through. When Bill started on this process, little open space was preserved and development seemed inevitable. Bill Ayler had a vision and worked diligently with others, such as Barbara Dye, to get through the process and achieve what we see today, his legacy and ours. And with that, let me turn this over to Bill Ayler. Well, thank you. Uh, this, um, this particular walk is historic uh, for all of us, but it's very meaningful for my, my wife and myself. Uh, we were actually were on this trail um, after we'd held a meeting at uh, the PV library and said that we should, uh, you know, that I, we really, there were opportunities to set up an organization to bring citizens together and to work with the cities to preserve open space. I was hoping somebody would step up at that meeting, but nobody did to take leadership of it. And so I, t I asked uh, Barbara, I said, well, you know, I don't think anybody else is going to do it. Should, should I do it? And she said, well, you know, and again, this is a family affair, as you know. I didn't realize it would take as long as it did, but, you know, I'm sort of an optimist here. And, uh, but she said, yeah, let's do it. And it was something where she was intimately involved for a long time. Um, I worked on this for about 18 years as president. And so uh, for me, it's particularly gratifying to actually see the fulfillment of this dream. So um, I think this is a perfect place to do that. And I want to thank all of you for coming. Um, one of the things that we used this for um, was w w our board believed that we really needed to get people out so they could experience this area and in seeing it and walking and sharing it they would learn to appreciate what we all appreciated and would help us preserve it. And thanks to a lot of your help and others, 
that actually happened. So this is part of, has always been part of our, nature, our education program, and we've expanded that now to a children's program at the third grade level where we take thousands of uh, third grade students from on the peninsula and, and the surrounding areas on their, some of their first nature walks. So that's been a big success as well. And um, so we, that's been a part, an important part of our education program. That's what we see going forward is using this land, getting people out and enjoying it and help, helping us restore it. So I want to thank you for yeah. that. So so it really gives me tremendous pleasure to be here today on behalf of the state of California for the part that we played in uh, providing the funding for this incredible addition to the Conservancy. And we all know though that it never would have happened without the vision, uh, the vision of Bill initially and so many others and the 700 plus people who worked on this for 21 years. So I am really pleased to be able to give this recognition today both to the Conservancy and to the city of Rancho Palos Verdes for working together to really bring a wonderful addition not only to the peninsula here but to the state of California. Many, many thanks to all of you. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm walking up now to the location of the final two no trespassing signs on the Upper Filiorum property. As we all know from the incredibly thoughtful remarks this morning, this is a very important landscape to have been preserved, a wildlife corridor linkage, and we have all made an investment in our future. This linkage, this moment here in time, represents years of hard work, dedication, a healthy dose of tenacity, and mounds of community support and appreciation. So I'd like to now welcome um, Mayor Pro Tem Tom Long and Bonnie Lowenthal to to stand by one sign, please. <laughs> but, and before you act, I would like to welcome Bill Layler, Henry Jurgens, and William Swank. One, two, three, and let's get this sign out of here. <laughs> okay, now the final no trespassing sign. One, two, three. Let's get that out of here. <laughs> this is, it's a gorgeous day out here today and the turnout was wonderful and a very nice ceremonial event followed by a lovely Ridgeline Nature Walk. Just talk about that partnership with you in the city. This, the land actually, the acquisition, the city technically owns all the preserve and the open space, but the Land Conservancy manages it. Is that how it works? That is correct. Um, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes holds title to the properties, to the preserves. The Land Conservancy holds the conservation easements, and what those are, they're overlays um, on the land to um, provide protection for the conservation values of the land um, to make sure that there's not development on the properties, etc. And so we hold the conservation easements, the Land Conservancy does, in perpetuity while the city owns the physical property. 